we are uh, taking a, a little break from the. We have we officially named yours now, Nightmare. I think it's, yeah. That's official. It's, it's gonna stick. It's gonna stick, yeah. So we're officially taking a break from Nightmare, Peter's car, and uh, we're gonna try and show you guys how to replace an oil pump without taking the motor out. In we're theory. experimenting. We're exper we We're doing some. Minutes. Yeah. If we can do it. Y'all can too, probably. So we got this here. We got a couple new parts here. Because, uh, Adam was really good boy this year. Yeah. And, uh, Santa came and he actually got himself. We got an oil pump. We got, and it's got some stuff in there for it. The pickup screen and the drive shaft. And then we got a harmonic balancer, a new distributor, and plug wires with the distributor. So... <clears throat> Oh, that's that's definitely empty. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, oh, and then we also got tools over there, which were on sale. And I was like, I mean, don't want to lose money on something like that. So yeah, we're gonna be. We got the hood off now. We're gonna be putting in the oil pump. We got this shiny new distributor that I hope works better than the one that's in there so uh yeah got that got the spark plug wires which in the pictures they were orange and i wanted them to be orange and they're yellow which i'm not sure look as good but i guess i'm not really going to complain about that like yeah Thanks. says the one who wants to paint everything right all right so the game plan here is to take that thing, or maybe just the jack, put the jack underneath the balancer. We're going to jack the, the car up first, and probably put it on the ramps over there. <clears throat> and then, once it's jacked up, <clears throat> undo the motor mounts down here, and then jack the motor up. We're going to take the distributor out, and we're going to take that thing out, probably, start so that we can get... A little height out of this. I don't know how how high up do you think we're gonna need to get this motor? Four inches. Four inches off the frame. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get. To, we're probably just gonna jack the car up first, and then try and jack the motor up. If everything goes as planned, we'll be back with hopefully the car up on the ramps and the engine about four or five inches off the K-frame. <laughs> if stuff doesn't go as planned, which it, won't. which it won't, we'll be back with an update. All right, guys. For once in our life, everything actually worked. We not a hundred percent yet. We have to get the pan off. But. Okay. Well, we got our main plan happened. We took the exhaust off. We took the distributor out. <clears throat> we took the distributor out. We uh, unhooked the plug wires, some other stuff that needed unhooking, which wasn't much. And then we got the motor jacked up. We got some <clears throat> motor mount blocks, motor mount chucks. So this doesn't come <clears throat> crashing down in our face. There's one on this side. The mintiest of uh, motor mount trucks. So that hopefully we don't die. And then... Uh, now we're going to try and get the oil pan out. We're going to drain the oil. That's the next step. We probably, maybe we should have done that before we jacked up, but it probably will still work. Just it'll, fine. Well, it'll just flow further. We also kind of got to watch out. It was started twisting the. Uh, it didn't. Started twisting the transmission. It picked it up a little bit cockeyed. I didn't want that shifter to start moving around in there it's and a crack the. Right? Thing. Or I don't know. Should be five ace. We just hooked it onto this. Uh, onto the alternator bracket, which is a pretty sturdy spot to hook it onto. I mean. We were going to hook it into this hole right here, but then it really would have picked it up crooked, so you want to make sure that you hook it in somewhere in the middle-ish, which we did, so. Alright, so it does look like we're actually getting this thing off. We got the one side of the pan My arms are unhooked. We got that. Uh, is that the last bolt yeah, coming out right there? It out. This is going to be upside down, and I don't care. Ow. Just going to have to flip it. 
No, I'll just flip the camera right here like this. I'm not the floor again. Is this out yet? Yes. My arms hurt. There's those two things. Alright, is this ready to come out now? Technically. Oh, crap. I forgot something. Now what? Oh, crap. I really forgot something. What? We have to pull the starter off. We have to pull this off. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Try without it. You can't look. Doggone heat shield. Or rock shield thing. What if we just loosen it? I wonder yeah. if there's enough, yeah, 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 enough yeah, yeah. space on top of the gear that we can just, <clears throat> just drop it down enough to get this thing up and over and down. Can we not get do that with it? Oh, shoot. We no, we definitely can't. Yeah, it's... So that's going to be a ton now. And that's going right. to be all hand tools. So we're going to get... That one... Oh, there's no bolts Yeah, we're going to take this rock shield off then, or the clutch shield, it's and right then... Here. Then hopefully we can get the oil pan. Just one bolt in it. Because if you see right up here, shine the light in that crack right in there. You can see right right in here, the well, the oil pan is sitting on top of this plate right here in there. So you're gonna have to just take the oil this or this pan this shield and just swing it down like a guillotine and chop Peter's face in half, and then then we'll be able to get the oil pan out. All right, so we got the rock shield off, and now it looks like it's coming. Please. You can see it. It's right there. Is it not going to come off all the way? We are literally like an eighth of an inch. Force it. How much? We would have an eighth inch on one side. And like a quarter inch on the other. Here, hold this. And I'll just kinda eat it. Why does it not want to work right now? What did you do to it? I don't know, I scooched it forward. It's having attitude problems now. Here. If we scooch the gasket out in the front. Okay, go for it. kidding me can we raise the engine just a little bit maybe uh here's your phone all right uh, that do anything no that's actually going kind of very little bit but keep going well i don't want to wreck nothing now it's fine just go Okay, that's good. It's not going well. Gotta readjust the hey. engine mount, Chucks. Uh, was that enough? Get out of here, you piece of crap. Alright, take this before I put a bunch of dirt in it. As we put a bunch of dirt in it. Alright. There we go. There bees the oil pump, the old one. That was a lot of work for just changing your oil pump. Yeah, well, it's a lot less work than taking the whole engine out. Because if we were taking the whole engine out, we wouldn't even have it out of the motor yet. We, oh, wow. We wouldn't even have it out of the car yet. So now, there should just be... One bolt. One bolt, yep. This deal right here. We're gonna have to take this windage plate off, probably, and then take Is there there? this bolt out. Yeah. yeah. Not the chungus though. We're probably gonna want the chungus because this sucker's uh, torqued to 60. That's right. Yeah, we gotta take that bolt out right there, and then. We'll get the other oil pump. Well, we're not going to be able to get the other oil pump right away. We're just taking this one out tonight. I got oil dripping on me. Fantastic. Um, we're just going to get this one out. And then the new one, tomorrow, we're going to get it 
and then weld it. Well, you already got it. You just gotta weld it. Yeah, we gotta weld it. Because we're gonna just do the weld it on the on the pickup for the pickup. Just weld it. You just it. need to send one spot. Just tap it. What? You just need to tap it. It's not even. Yeah, or just just put a little bead. Just z yep. we'll do that tomorrow. I'll show you guys how that works. All right. That's a and the reason why you do that is send your uh, pickup tube doesn't fall off. Because if your pickup tube falls off, then all of a sudden it's going to start trying to pick up oil from right here. And if the oil level isn't right there, it's not gonna actually going to suck any oil up. So you're going to have oil pressure problems. Long like short. big, big oil pressure problems. Some of these 350s don't have a windage tray. If yours doesn't have a windage tray, you don't need to worry about this. But there's there is, uh, there's three bolts. One right there, actually, one mind. right here, and one right here. And then the one on the oil pump. We're just going to take all four of those bolts out. The windage tray and the pump will come out, and that's going to be it for tonight. All right, everybody. It is the next day, and we are ready to throw the new oil pump back in. As you can see right there, we got a really horrible booger weld on the oil pickup. And yes, it sucks. I had to do it with a stick welder because the wire feed was out of commission. <clears throat> I would have made that a lot easier. If you have a wire feed welder, you can just run a nice little bead on there. Doing it with a stick welder sucks. <clears throat> and it's probably not very good for this, so I hope that it didn't crack nothing and that it all... It'll be fine. ...work out. So we're going to throw this back in. Well, probably not like that. We're going to throw it in like that. And then... Probably more, actually, like that. And then... Oh, the other thing that we did is uh, instead of measuring the like how to, where to set your pickup screen oil pan depth thing or oil pan to pickup screen clearance instead of doing that the right way we did it the wrong way which was wherever the old oil pump is it's not there i don't know i just took this thing set it next to the old oil pump and just kind of eyeballed the angle and was like yep it's about like that um if you're swapping out the oil pan too, then you're going to need to recheck everything. But <clears throat> I'm not doing that. So keeping the same oil pan, which means the clearance should be the same. I figured, what the heck, this is easier. And it would be a pain in the butt to try to check oil pan clearance underneath the car with it jacked up on the K-frame like that. So we're going to start throwing this back together. And we'll be back when we get to that. Oh, my face. All right. Ooh, I figured out how to get the light to turn on my camera. Wait, what? This is mint. Is that a thing? Apparently, if you turn the flash on, it and goes. It's dark. <clears throat> I just have the flash, like, turned on permanently. Oh, hold that. What's your just, I, just set it down somewhere. <clears throat> so we're taking out. See, I told you not to put this thing back on. I just didn't want to set it down somewhere. Oh yeah, and I just dropped my hat in that big oil flick right there. <laughs> yeah. It was on my head and it just fell off and I just kind of rolled over. <laughs> and so it's just dead. Yeah. It went from the best hat to the worst hat in about... <clears throat> Ten seconds. Yeah. That just went from the best shirt to the worst shirt. This Ten already seconds. was my worst shirt. Oh, nice. So now what we're going to do is just stab that right up in there the way it goes. <laughs> wow, Adam, that's some great... <laughs> No. I can't see Jack Squat. Right there. No, no, yes, no, no. I no, know no. what I'm doing. I just don't got any arm room because of my alligator arms. It goes in on this side. Dude, it goes right here. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah. I've put oil pumps in before. If it fits. It'll go eventually. I can't see with this dog on gasket. Well, hey, remember when I asked you if you wanted me to take that gasket off and you nope. said no? I don't remember a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. What the heck? Get on there. Oh, that hurts my arms. Ow. Oh, ouch. <sighs> Alright, give me that bolt. <laughs> it's right here. Um, Yep, right there. You got it. Okay, take the plate. Put the plate on there. 
And then torque this to like 60 foot pounds or something like that. Is it 55 or 60? Yeah, it's like 60. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here, and we're gonna torque the uh, torque those bolts in underneath there. <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Oh, we gotta put the balancer back. We ain't gonna record none of that though. Well, well we should probably show them the product and show them that they got the thing back together. Well, yeah.